There's this tweet about the top 500 rank. Players who have reached the top 500 by the time the phase is finished will receive a special title. There's already a crown for the people with the highest MR in the game, but this seems to turn into a special. It would be interesting to see what they will do with this rank. If you will have something like, I don't know, let's say a different queue. It has to be per character, right? Because you have a different MR for every character. So, huh. You never get legend rank. <laughs> yeah, that's true. When does it drops it said the new season begins november 1st yeah, i'm also looking forward to november 1st because the sets it will uh do a reset start a new season i'm not even sure what the reset entails ah oh, brian f finally uh source that we can trust <laughs> I keep seeing comments regarding Street Fighter 6 MR saying this is for people who play all day. No, it's absolutely not, lol. Street Fighter 5 Water was for people who waste hundreds of hours grinding. MR very quickly puts you where you belong, for better or for worse. It's like a standard ELO ranking, you know, based on your skill. The, there's a logical system behind this that puts you in the place that you belong. But if you like climb up and you have to invest a lot of hours because you only get like a few points every time, and then you like lose a million points. <laughs> Okay, interesting. What is the threat from Brian saying? Brian is actually improving outside of range so that you win more often when you play range. If you simply win your matches, you crack 2k in 4 hours like Punk did with his Jamie run. Oh god, really? Simply might just be at your current rank. It's definitely not perfect. They can improve the system. Mandatory refers to 2. Points calculated after set complete. Better matchmaking. So it's these two falls, I think it's a great system. Yeah, that's what I heard as well. So they, that some people would like to have it like a first to two and then you get the points. So it's like more even, more balanced. And you can try yourself out in a sense. But yeah, I mean, in other uh, games like League of Legends, there's also an ELO based system where the games puts you into the, the, the bracket that you actually belong. I'm assuming Legend would be its own rank on some level at least, yeah. That would make sense. Could become the number one rank player in a while, like four hours long. It's the exact opposite of an endline grind. I keep seeing this take from people just thinking you're simply losing at your ranks is reflecting that. Coincidentally, the people at top rank play all day because that's what they did to get that good, but those hours where I spend in rank grinding points. I mean, yeah, if you rise up really fast and you play against better players and you get more points, I can see that this is actually true. I haven't seen how, how Punk ranked. But if it took like four hours, it's definitely really fast. If you're table, it's in some degree a backlash towards MR is being ruined by people realizing that we now have an actual reasonable accurate measure of Street Fighter skill using online points that doesn't sit well with some people's self-image. Yeah, that's also something that we discussed last time, right? Like people like I, who kind of compare themselves from time to time, get a blowback from that. But on the other hand, it's a good sign to reflect on yourself where you actually stand. So it's like humbling in a sense. Some people are so good, they want to play against only good players. So having a definite legend rank would kind of solve this problem because people would then be able to play against other people on this level. Paying a dip below the initial 1.5k is a must drop by Capcom. <laughs> The idea remains the same, keep moving engaged with 6, so they're more likely to spend more money. It's try to a free-to-play game. Capcom doesn't care if rate is an accurate representation of players, can keep playing, keep grinding. I don't agree on that. I think people who are really interested in ranking up don't really care about that so much. Because, come on, you do not have any advantage by spending money in-game in your rank grind. There's no skip rank or I don't know what or damage booster. There's nothing like that. I mean, you can't even use your costumes except the character costumes uh, for the ranked matches. The critique on Diamond Under System could be well valid, but it's not the focus. Yeah, that's definitely not the focus. I mean, oh, look at my rank time. I needed like 40 hours to get through the ranks, but where was the most time spent in sets and in training mode? So the time I spent in rank was the fruit of my labor or, well, a good learned lesson. Because the game told me, yo, dude, you are not good enough yet. Go back to training, man. So I don't think it's necessarily a slog. I mean, it takes time. It takes so much time. But if you're on a good level already, you can breathe through it in a sense. Especially if you get good placements at the beginning. So, yeah. I have to rectify my answer from last time. Because, yeah, it takes a long time. But depending on the player, it doesn't take so much time. Do not blame the player on good enough to get the sign. Because the worst of it, you will learn a ton of matchups. And then with 100% help. That's correct. Early gameplay, more knowledge will always outweighs physical skills. Yeah, that's definitely true. I mean, in the beginning, I was struggling so much. And when I was playing a little bit of Marisa in the lower ranks, it felt like, okay, I can see things. 
I guess that will help me with, with other characters as well. Three or four system was early just as hard. If you didn't have some skills later, I think again, one PP. <laughs> one PP. Yeah, that's also true. In Street Fighter 4, it was kind of similar because you had those uh, battle points and uh, the other points, the PPs, and uh, player points, I think. So it was similar to Street Fighter 6, but you had to invest a lot of time as well to get armed. Players who are really good are getting uh, their prestige rank. It also allows for better matchmaking again. It kind of divides the player base and lesser skilled players and uh, better skilled players. And you can get matched based on that rate that you have. So I guess this is a really good idea. I mean, we will see where this goes, right? 3 or 5 uh, grind was uh, uh, was grind based. The player with 65% win rate could be anywhere between Master and Warlord. It was a matter of how much time they put in the game. 3 or 5 didn't probably measure consistency consistency at high level. MR is fairly accurate. Yeah, that's, that's my question the entire time. You get more points if you beat somebody with higher MR, right? You want higher MR, then you care. More MR, more skill. Yeah, definitely. I would say... The time that you put in is not necessarily based on your rank sets, but on analyzing your gameplay, the character matchups, and your weaknesses to address them and to get better. So you get more wins in rank. So, and if you get more wins in ranks, you climb faster, right? I think there was this point that somebody made on Twitter, like today, I don't know where. He was like 1.9k MR and lost against somebody with 1.3k MR. And he was like, yeah, the matchmaking is shite. Why it undoes like a lot of, of uh, work I put in because I lost so many points. On the other side, the game expects you to fairly win on uh, on this level, right? It should be a clean win against somebody with, somebody with this low MR. So it was either a fluke or the, the ELO system just reshuffles again and puts that dude in the right bracket but yeah i would definitely say that somebody with that high mr has definitely earned it it's not like you just play and it automatically comes in right i guess if i would play more uh, master rank now and i would climb uh at some points i would meet people who have high mr and they will flat out beat me because i haven't put in enough time yet so there will be a wall again but that's the, the, the wall that you need to actually improve because then you sit down and you're like, hmm, okay, what went wrong? What are those people doing? How can I implement this into my game plan? How can I punish this? How can I work around this? How can I poke? Stuff like that. And that's actually uh, growth. So I, I do believe in the ELO system in games like this because it's like one-on-one -on -one based. I think MOBAs are way more complex than uh, fighting games where you play one-on-one -on -one because in MOBAs you have five versus five. There are hundreds of interactions every second and that's way more than in a fighting game. And to balance all of the things is like quite hard in the ELO based system, I guess. It does work in so certain senses, but on the other hand, I, I can believe that you're dependent on what you get as teammates as well. Yeah, but a better player doesn't always win. Yeah, that's true. That's true. If you lose against somebody who is maybe not as good as you are the, uh, based on the MR, you learn something again. Uh, you don't uh, uh, lose the, due to luck. At least on that level, there will be something happening where you did mistakes on your own and the other player was able to use that against you. So... Huh, interesting. Definitely interesting.